show. So, Smile, what did I think of the episode? Well, I've got seven things to say about it. Number one, the BBC marketing team is really starting to make me feel a bit... Because, you know, they they built up this episode by saying, oh, the emoji bots are great, they're emojis and they hug you to death. And it's like, okay, I'm not a child and I want to leave now. What gave me faith was the Doctor Who magazine article about the episode interviewing Frank Cottrell Boyce. He built me up about this episode because after reading that, I was quite looking forward to it. And I'm glad I was because it was a good episode. So, good? Is that an emoji? Thing two. The Spanish setting is beautiful. I absolutely adore the setting. It is just truly... Oh, the building itself is groundbreaking because it was so ahead of its time. Um, but yeah, this it's the perfect setting for this episode, I think. A utopia as opposed to dystopia. Um, because dystopia is so grungy. Thing three. What sort of upset me a little about this episode was there was too little of Ralph Little. I've said little too many times. Anyway, he was very much underused. He could have had such a better role. Um, so I, I, of course, have seen him through um, Two Pints of Lager and A Packet of Crisps, that classic comedy. Really weird comedy, but it was still a thing, and he was alright in it, I suppose. But yeah, I, I respect him. I thought he could have played a much more important character to just some bloke that woke up um so yeah that that's a shame the robots the emoji bots they were quite freaky actually uh they were a little bit unnerving it's, i don't know if that's even got an emoji i'll come up with something um yeah they, they're quite unnerving and freaky especially in their ultra happy face which is like this And then they pass out the discs, and I'm not sure um, if I'm the only person who thought it, but it was a little reminiscent of Robots of Death with the Sam Miner robots. The, the uh, deactivation discs was their trademark killing thing. It was... Robots discs is a interesting um, a theme, but yeah, it, it, quite reminiscent for me, so yeah. I enjoyed Bill again. I, she was fine. I've got no problems with her. The introduction to her was a lot worse than how she actually is. So that's good. Um, yeah, she was she was quite good in this episode, and she didn't just stay when the Doctor told her to. She she did the classic companion came after the Doctor. Um, so yeah, quite quite pleased with. Bill, how Bill's going, and I'm glad that they've firmly cemented her, as Stephen Moffat said in this episode. So yeah, well done. Nardol. Nardol was just sort of thrown in, and it does annoy me when they throw things. Sorry, annoy. It does annoy me um, when they just throw people in for good measures, like shoehorning the Doctor into the first episode of Class. He didn't really need to be there, um, but. But Nardole didn't really need to be in this episode either. Although he has helped us out a little with knowing more about the vault. We now know the Doctor has made an oath to protect it. And we know that he um, mustn't leave Earth because he needs to protect it. Which for the Doctor must be very difficult. So who's he sworn an oath to? Who's in the vault? I mean it's created more questions if I'm honest. So, you know. Lastly, point seven. It's still a little tame 
to what I prefer. Series 9 was quite brutal, hard-hitting, lots of good deaths, especially in um, a few of the episodes. The uh, Under the Lake was a good one. Uh, they killed off Jack, of course, in the Zygon two-parter, that sort of a main character killing off. Like Osgood in series A, yeah, I was, I was quite um, the Emoji Bots kill in an extraordinary way. They don't actually kill; they just hold while the little nanobot things come down and kill. Really, um, but uh, yeah, they they had good intentions. They were trying to keep everyone happy, and it's too tame. Could they not have just got a virus and gone? Health for Leather attacking everyone, like Sam Liner robots, reprogram perhaps, I, I don't know. But yeah, I did like the journey we went through the Doctor's different processes of eliminating what was going on, thinking this, then no, actually, that can't be right, it's this. Very good, very reminiscent Doctor, so yeah, like that. So overall, I enjoyed this episode, I thought it was good, um, I liked it, um, and I'm looking forward to uh, next week, Thin Ice. Um, again, the Doctor Who magazine article builds it up very nicely. And we got a little prequel bit to it at the end of this episode, so that's good. I wonder if Frank Cottrell Boyce wrote that bit, or whether uh, Rachel Tulele, I think, is writing next week's. Um, whether she wrote it like the the next showrunner writes the doctor when it's the changing of the guard like it'll be at christmas so see you next week for again another different way of reviewing things but keeping the seven things see you next time bye bye